lecture we will learn about uh, an influential critic Roland Rolabat about his uh, position in literary criticism and critical theory his contribution and his important work and key concepts so dear friend the lecture is full of information about the basic topics basic concepts uh, different literary terms uh, Rolabat and his positions his views his opinions so i request you not to skip any part of the video and watch it till the end so that you can understand it very well and uh, please do like share subscribe uh, my channel and please comment on my video too so dear friend the objective of our uh, lecture is to understand the position of uh, roland ba rolabat uh, in criticism his uh, main uh, works uh, contribution his main contribution in criticism and literature as well uh, uh, Rolabart's concept of text that we will uh, see and we will try to widen the scope of our knowledge by understanding the major critic major and influential critic that is uh, Rolabart okay so dear friend uh, in the later half of the 20th century, literary theory was at height and Rolabart was the most important structuralist uh, critic, structuralist critic who analyzed the signifying systems in mass culture and the latter on turned to the post-structuralist claim, uh, the death of the author uh, and he also wrote uh, uh, from work to text, theorizing his concept of the text which was important in the advancement in the field of post-structuralism. Uh, so, uh, it is very important for us to understand his uh, basic background uh, as far as the literary theory and the literary uh, terms are concerned. Okay. So, dear friend, Rola Barth was a French literary theorist who straddled a line between structuralism and the post-structuralism. Early in his uh, career, uh, in his work, he, he had written the mythologies. And in mythologies, Barthes has analyzed the signifying systems in various forms of mass cultures like fashion, wrestlings, soap powder etc. Uh, he aimed at showing how the ideological positions were presented as something self-evident in the natural and the mass culture. His book on uh, Raxin uh, that was written in 1963 uh, was a, again a structuralist analysis of the work of Jean Racin which uh, angered the traditional critics of uh, for its focus on the textual uh, rather than the biographical or historical analysis. Uh, in his work, um, his other works in the period includes the element of semiology and the systems or uh, systems de la mode, uh, which he has written in 1967. So. Even as a structuralist, Rola Barth had his suspicions regarding to the representational sign. He believed that sign which presented themselves as natural and thus as the only way of perceiving the world were ideological in nature and ideology functions as naturalizing itself as self-evident and unchangeable. In Rolabart's view, realism is responsible for passing off the representational signs as reality itself. So, realist literature attempts to convince the reader that they are perceiving the reality by concealing the fact that language is a construct itself. Barthes propound a double sign which would point at its own material existence while conveying 
meaning as well so uh, dear friend now let us uh, uh, try to learn about or try to understand his uh, most influential work that is the death of the father so in the latter half of his uh, career uh, as uh, rola bars becomes increasingly aware of the limits of the structuralism he moved towards the post structuralism in 1967 he wrote his landmark essay and the name of his essay was uh, the, uh, is the death of the author which focused on the authors instead of authors output so uh, he began the essay by taking the example of balzac uh, saracen uh, he quoted a line from the novella on femininity which uh, would which uh, could not be attributed uh, to either the author or the narrator he argued that we can never know as writing is that neutral composite oblique space where our subjects slips away and negatives where all identities is lost starting with a key identifying of the body writing in death of the author he argues against the traditional uh, literary criticism's practice of incorporating the intention and biographical context of the author in an interpretation of the text instead he argues that writing and creator a uh, creator are in uh, uh, unrelated so in his uh, particular essay uh, bart rola bart uh, argues against the method of reading and criticism that relies on the aspects of the author's identity uh, their political views historical context uh, even religion ethnicity psychology or other biographical or personal attributes to distill the meaning from the author's work in the in the essay the death of the author rola barth proceed a sort of post structuralist or deconstructive view of the author he takes different strands through which he announces a metaphor metaphorical death of the author and uh, it declares the death of the structuralism uh, rola barth contended that the author is a modern figure uh, a product of our society in so far as emerging from the middle ages uh, with an english imperialism french uh, rationalism and with the personal faith of the reformation it discovered the prestige of the individual of as it uh, is more nobly put the human persons he further posted that uh, capitalist ideology attached the great uh, importance to the person of the author to commercialize literature other literary theories further uh, cemented this idea by focusing all literary criticisms around the life of the author according to rola bart Uh, Mallarmé was the first in the France to see the necessity of uh, substituting language for the person writing it. It is the language itself which spoke or pers- performed instead of the author. Barthes takes the example of Proust, who was concerned with the relationship of uh, relationship between the writer and the characters. Uh, and uh, attempted to blur it in his writing in the period uh, preceding modernity surrealism again was also sought to destabilize the prominent position of the author by disappointing the expectation of meaning while automatic writing challenged the authority of the writer through the spiritual or the subconscious writing further in the essay uh, rola bart states that uh, he said 
that the act of the removal of the author completely transformed text. He draws a parallel between the author and the modern scripter. The term that Rolla Barth used for the writer after the removal of the author. So Rolla Barth he called writer as a modern scripter. So while the idea of the author is permanently attached to the creation of the book, the modern scripture is born with the text. So hence, writing ceases to be representational and becoming becomes performative. Modern scripture, uh, Rolabarth said that modern scripture cut off from the all voices born by a pure gesture of inscriptions and not of the expression. He stress stresses the uh, field without origin or which at least has no other origin than language itself, language which seriously calls into questions or origin. So, Rula Barth makes two important points as to why the death of the author is inevitable and beneficial occurrence. So, to begin with, Rula Barth states that author is merely a way through which a story is told. Uh, they neither create the story nor form it. These uh, have already been done. So the author is merely retelling the story, his this story. So that is, uh, that has already been told by many times. So his arguments against the original thought is pervasive especially considering the many ways stories has been logically broken down into the predictable sequence of events. So Rola Barth's second point is that if the reader were to view the work through the eyes of the author, then they would gain no benefit from the reading. By associating the author with the text, the text is automatically limited. Instead of drawing their own meaning from the text, using their own experiences and therefore stimulating their own thoughts of the lives and how it connects with the world around them, the reader is then restricted to trying to gauge what author meant. So the reader focuses on understanding the author's opinion and whether they agree with the author or don't focus on their own thought and the opinion of the piece. So Rola Barth claims that it is the status of the reader that should be elevated and not the status of the author. So if the reader gains any deep insight from the piece of writing, it should not be considered due to the author's genius, but instead of the personal experience of the reader, uh, providing them with the insightful interpretation. Uh, Rola Barth believes that if it is the reader who brings meaning to the text, then there can be no limit to the interpretations available because everyone in the world has their own unique experience and they, that have shaped their interpretations and their meanings. So for the independent thinking of the reader and the growth of their skills of interpretation, the death of the author is necessary. So, and uh, it is necessary. It seems that when Rola Barth says the birth of the reader must come at the cost of the death of the author, he is thinking idealistically, not realistically. Uh, it would uh, help the interpretation and the understanding of the reader for there to be no connection between the author and the text in the Rolabar in that Rolabar is correct. 
So in the conclusion of the essay, Rola Barth discussed the concept of the text, which he elaborated in the uh, uh, letter in his essay from work to text. So uh, the uh, he uh, Rola Barth he states that text does not have a single meaning but multiple interpretations that blend and clash with each other. The text for him is constructed from the multiple writing drawn from diverse cultures which entered into the relation of the dialogues and uh, contentions. Hence, Barthes conclude his essay by discerning that the multiplicity of the text is focused on the readers instead of the author. Uh, then the next important thing as far as the Rolabarth is concerned that we must understand his concept of the text. So in his essay, uh, work from the text, okay, uh, Rolabarth, he gives us his theory of the text. So he begins by observing that the change is taking place in the conception of the language and the literary work that created with it. Rolabarth connects the change with the development of the linguistic and the anthropology, Marxism, psychoanalysis, uh, and, uh, and other works. Uh, so the mutation of the traditional no uh, notion of the work and the overturning of categories led to the requirement of a new object which is termed as a text. So Rolabarth laid down certain uh, prepositions uh, or uh, propositions clarifying that they are not merely argument but a metaphorical enunciations regarding to the text. So number one he said that the difference between the work and the text is not material. It is not the question of chronology either uh, as an ancient work may contain text while a contemporary work may not be a text at all. So the work occupies space and can be seen while text is methodological field and speaks according to or against certain rules. So you can hold a work in your hand but a text is held in language. So uh, the uh, second important uh, thing that he said in the uh, essay that text cannot be contained in literature or the division of genre. Uh, the text resists classifications and pushes the limitations of enunciations. So while in the work the relation between the signifier and the signified is evident, okay, but in the text the signified is differ from one to another. So there is a perpetual generations of the signifiers in the text because of the disconnections or overlappings and variations. While the work is moderately symbolic, the text is completely symbolic and the text is um, metonymic in nature filled with the activity of associations and the uh, continuities. So the next important uh, thing that he said in the essay, that is the text is plural. Okay. So it does not have uh, a coexistence of meaning, but an explosion of or uh, dissemination of the signifiers. So the text consists of citations, references, cultural languages, uh, which cut through it in all directions. So the work is seen as the filiation of the author and the author is regarded as the father of the work and uh, we, uh, we are taught to respect the intention of the author uh, while the work is imagined as the organism that grows by development. The text is to be imagined as a network. So uh, again, here we move from the text 
uh, work to text and now uh, it is a kind of an hint uh, towards the new uh, beginning of the new theory that is the techno criticism again here the reader is uh, in techno criticism that you know the reader is considered as a person in a network mm -hmm. so uh, as the text does not have any father or any authority figure it can be broken or analyzed so again uh, when we come to the text it means that uh, we uh, or he is just forwarding us towards the new uh, field of uh, literary criticism that is uh, the techno criticism but it is we must remember that uh, at the time of uh, rolla bar uh, these uh, new theory was yet coming uh, was not yet exist okay uh, so the work the next important thing that he said in his uh, essay that is the work has become an object for consumptions text is able to separate a work from consumptions by transforming it into a play the production or practice so text requires the abolishment of the distance between the writing and the reading while reading is simply consuming like playing with the text uh, is a completely different experience so text plays uh, like a game or a score of a music and demands the collaborations with the reader so the next important thing that he said the final approach to the text is that of the pleasure okay uh, there is the pleasure in the reading of the work but this pleasure is merely a consumption as we can read the work but cannot rewrite it the text on the other hand is bound to a joyance that is provide enormous pleasure to the reader the text achieves a transference of language relations and works towards a social utopia so uh, the final approach of the text is that of the pleasure no doubt and there is a pleasure in reading of the work but uh, he said or rolabar thing that we can read the text but we cannot rewrite it but as far as the text is concerned uh, he said on the other hand text is bound to a joyance and it provides us immense pleasures to the reader the text uh, achieves a transparency of language and it can be rewritten okay so hence rolla bar's essay the death of the author and from work to text were regarded as a landmark essays that have challenged the that have changed the face of criticism in his essay the death of the author he changed the focus of criticism from author to the language of the literature and his concept of the text was important advancement in the post structuralist theory which has led the uh, new field of cultural studies so dear friend uh, this is what my views my thoughts uh, regarding to the rolla bar and his positions and his concepts hope you understand it you like it dear friend please like share subscribe my videos and uh, please comment too and thanks for watching thank you